Bill, second yeah. big story. You say you had two of them. Yeah, What's the second one? an exclusive for the Glenn Beck audience. So, Joe Biden needs help. He's the second worst president in American history behind James Buchanan right now. He may overtake Buchanan. I don't think so, but he could. Now, Biden has a cabinet, advisors, and my second biggest story that I'm breaking on the Glenn Beck program is that this cabinet that Biden has selected is worse than the 1962 New York Mets that lost 120 games, the worst team ever in history. Okay? <laughs> this cabinet is okay. worse than the Mets. You want to go down right. the list? Vice President Yeah, Harris, go for it. Do I have to say any more? Do I have to no. say any more? Secretary of State Tony Blinken, Afghanistan was excellent. Should I say any more? Any more? No. Secretary of Treasury Janet, inflation is transitory. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh my gosh! Right? All right. There, there's a three. <sighs> yeah. left. Okay. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg. I'm oh, the mad worst. at the airlines. Uh, That's it. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh okay. Homeland, and and Homeland and security. if you know, you'll be able to save money if you just drive a you know a hundred thousand dollar car. That's all you have to do. Yeah. Just yeah. buy a new or car. Get a Pogo stick. Or get a Pogo yeah. stick. That's yeah. Okay. He put a judge secretary of transportation. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Quote oh at my the gosh. Aspen Institute Quote at the Aspen Institute this week. I'm concerned about the border, unquote. Way to go, Alejandro! <laughs> Attorney General Merrick Garland. Merrick Garland, ready? Uh, Can't find the Supreme Court leaker. Can't find her. I said her. Ha <laughs> ha! I know who it is. He can't find it. Secretary of Energy, Jennifer Granholm, former governor of Michigan. How's that? Air conditioning bill down there in Texas, Beck. How's that going? Okay. Wow. Health and Human Services Secretary, Xavier Becerra. Hey, Xavier, what about the VAC? Huh? Is, what's the VAC going to do? How about the Director of Domestic Policy? This is all Biden cabinet. Susan Rice, Miss Benghazi. Oh, no, no. This wasn't coordinated. It was the videotape that did it. This is the lineup, Beck. Is that not wow. worse than the 1962 Mets? Oh, and I think you'd have to throw in some 1919 uh, Black Sox as well, because they're dirty as hell. Um, I have to tell you, Bill, I, I mean, I looked at the, you know, I know all of them, and we do stories on them, but I hadn't looked at them as a group. How does this president team. walk in to the Roosevelt yeah. Room where they're all sitting there and go, there they are. you know, uh, I... I think we're just going to close the door. <laughs> oh, man. How do you do that? Is there one wow. solution to? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I haven't been to the border because I haven't been to Europe. Thank you. Thank you, Kabla. But, you know, but you know what, Bill? They're, yeah. They are all... Um, they are all competent at one thing. They are all competent on, on destroy, and I mean this as intentional, on creating the conditions to destroy America and our energy. I mean, everything they do, they're on the same page. If you look at these not as like, that's a crazy mistake, but you look at it as no group of people could make this many mistakes that are this <laughs> bad for America. They're it's very okay. competent at doing. No, no. Now, see, that's everybody thinks it's a big conspiracy that they want to tank the country. Then all of that. Well, I disagree with. I disagree with that. It's, it's, not, a, with that. it's not a conspiracy. Why? Because these people are so incompetent. The only one on the list that has any, any, all right, uh, vision at all is Blinken. Blinken made a mistake in Afghanistan. I'll never admit it. But Blinken is probably the only one who has any thought process at all. But what you're saying is they're zombies. So, so the progressives say, 
you got to destroy the American uh, energy industry because if you don't, global warming and we're going to have a giant tidal waves going to drown everybody. So that's what we have to. And they all believe it. They all believe it. Right? They're zombies. They're ideological zombies. And a lot of them are affirmative action hires. Why do you think Harris is there? Why do you think Buttigieg is there? Why do you think Mayorkas is there? I mean, it's all affirmative action. Xavier, Z- Xavier, Bessaria. Like, come on. What, this guy, he's in charge of health and human services. And we have more fentanyl deaths than, than we've ever had in this country. Has he said a word about it? Does he even know about it? And Biden, you know, yes, he, he's incredibly incompetent unbelievably incompetent. But with these people backing him, it's, I mean, I'm just sitting here, I'm staggered about how incompetent this government is. It's like, I mean, we're living right, in let, Molly or something. Let but, me, uh, let me ask you a question on incompetence or intentional. Uh, the word is, uh, this came from the New York Post, I think yesterday, word is, the Biden Justice Department is finally getting set to press charges against first son Hunter after dragging its feet on the probe. But it looks like the feds will shy away from the key issues exposed in the Post reporting on Hunter's laptop, spare the Democrats in advance of this year's midterms. Uh, so they're saying that they're going to maybe go after him for taxes, but they're not going to go into any of the deep stuff. Uh, and are they delaying it now? Uh, and there's a pretty good case that they are. Are they delaying it to, until after the election? Well, that must be. <laughs> What's going on, Bill? Grand jury, the grand jury in Delaware has only been sitting for more than two years. That's all. I mean, that's you know, it. They're still, you know, trying sure. to get to know each other, trying to get to know each other. Only two years. Number two, Merrick Garland is the guy that's got to sign off. Merrick is still hunting down that Supreme Court leaker. Can't quite get her. Um, but, you know, so you're right. I, I believe this report. I have not been able to confirm it. I tried to confirm it yesterday on BillOReilly.com. Um, we have very good sourcing inside the Justice Department, but I couldn't confirm it. But it makes sense that they got to do something about Hunter. So they'll do a tax evasion beef. They'll give him a plea deal. Uh, he can't come out of his Malibu house for three weeks or something. I mean, you know, that'll probably be what it is. So they don't have to get into the messy quid pro quo, the vice president of the United States setting his son up to make millions of corrupt dollars from foreign nations, which is what happened. Wow, what a travesty of justice. What a joke our Justice Department will be if that happens. And I, I think you're right. I think it will happen. Yep. It's, look. We're living in a country now that's about a third world country government. That's what I said, where we live in a Mali, that's an African nation. It doesn't operate. And this is the tragic part of it. All of these people are civil servants. Accent on Hmm. servants. They're supposed to serve the people. Look out for the people's benefit. The good of the people. Protect the people. This is the last thing on their mind. Okay, they're not doing any of that. And you can just go down the list of, of open water, runaway inflation, on and on and on. Yeah. Bill O'Reilly, thank you so much for joining us. That's uh, Bill O'Reilly from BillOReilly.com, the author of the book Killing the Killers, uh, The Secret War Against Terrorists, which is out now. Killing the Killers, BillOReilly.com.